Hello techies. Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. So these are these informations which the candidate is giving to the employer, that is, that detail like, which includes the personal information, contact information, address information, job information and nationalities. All this information which the employees which a candidate is giving to the employer that is called as HR data. Okay. And once the one, the employer will see that is information. That is the help. Of this information they will transfer, they will hire, do the hiring process in the system. That is, from starts with the recruiting process, then it goes to the onboarding and from the onboarding it will go to the employee central and from the employee central it will go for the hiring process and with this, all this data, help us to create an employee profile in this, where the employee profile will be created in the system. Got it. Okay, but I think this is like general question, since employees, not we, would not directly get the information. I mean we should even before, even we get the data we have to hire and on. I mean that only I'm telling it will. The data will flow from RCM, that is, from the recruiting. And from there the data will be see the initially the identifying the candidate, scheduling the interviews. Okay, and going with a certain level of interviews, that everything will go from RCM. Okay, once the candidate is being selected, then they will be send. They will be send an offer letter and at the time they have to submit the documents. And when they're submitting the documents that will go into the onboarding process, when they start filling up all the details in the onboarding. And from the onboarding, once the data has been created in the system with the help of the onboarding process. So, when they are creating the data, what are the how they will get the information, the information which the candidate is giving with this documentation, right? That is your personal information, contact address, all this information when they he or she submitting there the if they are using success factor, they will create all these informations by inserting this information in the system that that is at the onboarding process. Still, we are not into employee center. Okay, once the onboarding, they create the details, anything, everything in the system, that data will be flowing into the employee center. Okay. So what happens? Once you submit your documents and everything, you will say that I have a month of notice period, right? I will join after one month. Okay, so the offer letter will be also issued according to that right right. So they will be having a checklist. According to the checklist, they will request the candidate to submit the documents right. So when this, when the candidate will submit a document. On the basis of the document information, they will create a profile in the onboarding. Okay, and once they will create a profile, that profile will be moving and storing it in the employee center and it will be there at the employee center. And the day when the candidate join. After one month, the HR will pick up the data from the employee center and come initiate the remaining hiring process by creating the employee. So this is the flow which goes on. So for that, when you're the HR data is place, a very important role in employee center. Okay, so HR data is something like which a candidate is sharing the information to the employer. 
Okay, so these details will, they will accumulate these details and they will create an employee profile in the system, which the data will be floating from the onboarding to the employee center. Got it. That is the reason I try to explain what is an HR data. Yes, and this HR data in success factor we call as an employee data also, and also succession data also. Okay, it is also known as employee data, also as less the succession that ours. Okay, this is about something which employee is giving to the employer. Now the question. Now the second question is that. What employees is providing to the employee? Oh for little. Obviously, hopefully there, but in that offer letter of what are the information we have. Only you have only discussing about the information. So we have the employee and the employee is giving to the employee. So that we have taken discussed about information. Now coming into the employee side. Employer would definitely have one thing there, face coming, face scale. I mean there. Sanitary details. And their shift details. Are their role that position? I mean which? Okay, so in the offer letter, what are the things which we can able to see? One is the one is the position right. Yeah. Okay, what are the other things which we can see in the offer letter? One is the position, other, joining gate, joining date. Okay, what are the other things? I mean which department he is into like. Exactly exactly. So when you are getting a selected for a particular position, the position will be placed for a particular department, right? So we have position, we have department. What are the other things? I am the partner. What are the other things which we can see, which we can see in an offer letter location, I am location. Data joining. Data joining data joining location. Compensation also, we can see right what is the remuneration part which the company is offering. So these things, your position, your job, your particular department or for which business unit you have been got selected. So these are nothing but the objects. Okay. These are nothing but the objects which we say in success factor. Employer and employee central, and these objects are nothing but the organization objects. Okay. These objects are nothing but the organization objects, and these organization objects are called as a foundation object. Okay. These organization objects are called as a foundation, or so HR data. When we say about HR data. HR data comprise of your pastel information, employment information. All these are. Coming under HR data when we go into the foundation object. Foundation object, that was mainly about the company structure that we discussed, company structure, what you will be in your offer letter. You will be also specifying from which company you are been selected, which division, which, which business unit. What is the job role? What is the position you will be holding? What is the compensation? What is the compensation part? You are a contractual employee or you are a regular employee. So that depends upon your employee, that depends upon your employee time.
So all these things uh, specifies that these are the, these objects in success factor we call as an organization object or the we call as a company structure or the operator data. Okay. And these company structure and the corporate data it is called as a foundation object. Any questions here? Um, no. Okay. So now we can see one part that is an HR data and one part that is a foundation data. So HR data is nothing but the employee data. Okay. So when we are doing the, when we are setting up the configuration in the employee center, as we told employees, employees of the employee data and the organization data. So employee data is nothing but the HR data and the organization data is nothing but the foundation objects. Got it. Yes. So now coming into the foundation objects, we will go into the HR data later, but coming into the foundation objects. So we need to discuss what are the organization structure or the corporate data which we call as a foundation object. So foundation object. What are the foundation objects in a generic term which we we can able to say? What are the foundation objects? Foundation object comprise of legal entity right. You have a business unit, you can understand the legal entity right. Legal entities, nothing but the company right. Legal entities, nothing but the company okay. And then under the company, you may be having the business unit, then you may be having the division, you will be having that department, you will be having the location. Then pay great frequency. All these things are coming under the foundation objects. Okay. So this comprise the corporate structure or the company structure. Okay. So it plays an important role, even for any of the system, that the company structure has to be configured and plays in the system. Otherwise we cannot able to go and create the HR data. Can we go and create a HR data without the company structure? You are hiring an employer. But for hiring an employer you will require a company right legal entity. So to whom, to how you will be mapping that particular data to that particular entity, that the entity is not available in the system. Okay. So for that the corporate data that is a foundation object, plays an important role, because that is the place where we need to go and configure this organization structure first in the system. Then only we can able to go and create the HR data. Got it. So, once we are discussing about the foundation data, we need to understand what are the organization structures, what are the foundation data. Which, so we can able to list out the foundation objects. General foundation objects are Legal entities, business unit, division, department, location page, event, event reasons, dynamic roles, workflow, all these things are coming under the foundation of. Okay. So when we are discussing about the foundation object, that is, the corporate data or the company structure. We need to understand two concepts, two scenarios. One is how these objects are configured, where it is configured. That is one thing. That is one thing, and the second thing is, if the if this, if this corporate structure is already configured with the help of this structure, how you are creating the record. That is the under scenario. Creating the record is one scenario, and where these objects and their fields are configured, that is the under scenario. 
so coming into foundation object. There are two things, how you can able to cope, how you can go and create a record. So there are two ways for which we can able to go and create a record. Okay, so when you go about, when you discuss about these objects. That is legal entity, business unit division department. All these objects. So when you are going and creating an entity, legal entity in the system. So for that, this legal entity has to be defined in the system. It Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rate